there are five different physical developmental stages for children but on this video today i'll be talking about the stage for the newborn that's between the ages of two months to let's say nine months and eventually i'm going to explain how to identify these stages and how to support your child in the process now i don't know how you see this video but it is born out of our conversation in our support community so i'm going to pause now before i continue to ask you to go to the link in our bio if you're watching this on youtube go to the link in my description you'll be able to find a link there to click and you'll be able to send us a dm to join our support community of other mothers it is actually free and you can have access to all the information that you need if you're a first time mother if, I, if you're a new mother or even if you're a new father you can recommend that platform for your partner or your wife or your girlfriend that you want to have a baby with or that you already have a baby with that platform will be, will be beneficial for the person and secondly i also want you to click the link in our bio you'll be able to see our resources we have a meal plan book that mothers can use to win their babies if they are postpartum they can see a variety of different meal types that they can try out to help increase their nutritional value during a postpartum period and even during the pregnancy period and also help win their babies when they are trying to get their babies off breast milk gradually in that link also you'll be able to see other of our resources that might suit your need don't forget to click that link run away and click right now so let's go ahead let's talk about the physical developmental stage of a child last week we talked about understanding and helping to stimulate the intelligence of your child which had to do with the cognitive developmental stage of your child today we're talking about the physical developmental stage how you can identify the different stages and the milestones that your child is achieving physically between the ages of two months to nine months i'm just going to hang around two months to six months and maybe sprinkle around nine months because we mostly have mothers who have questions around two months to six seven maybe eight months so now one of the things i always like to say is that you need to pay attention to your child for you to be able to meet their needs it's quite difficult with the cumbersome world that we're living in right now and a lot of activities and buzz here and there you might miss the chance of identifying the changes that is going on with your child and sometimes you're lucky enough to pick it and you're able to say oh that's what it is and then you offer support so one of the things that you rea you realize is that from one month when you're bringing your child they are still trying to acclimatize into the world and they're still trying to understand what is going on you know they're still they're they are, they are breastfeeding they are not sustaining you know the look that they are going to eventually creep into when they become two three months they are just suckling sleeping you know being nice and lovely not giving you a headache and you are enjoying the first one month sometimes you don't even enjoy that first one month sometimes you are having sleepless nights because you have to breastfeed and because they want you to keep them on their on on your body or something maybe you're not just enjoying it but some mothers do but when you creep into the second month you start seeing that your baby has developed in some ways and they start seeking a sense of attachment and that time you start seeing your baby stare at you start seeing your baby try to achieve what what we call marked mirroring looking into your eyes and trying to recognize and you know call i know this person you know a lot of times when you see a baby as soon as the mother comes about starts crying or stretches out to want to reach out to the mother you know people think ah is, how come you know your mother or you see a baby attached to someone else that has been in their space for a while that means they had spent time to mark mirror this person and they've come to know this person so by that two months they've started max mirroring they start responding to sounds you know they started their sleeping pattern might change slightly you can also find the video in a feed about how to understand the sleeping pattern of your child i think it's on my youtube channel if you find if you go if you can find your way to our youtube channel you'll be able to see it, how to understand how your the sleeping pattern of your baby changes as they as they grow anyways that's not what we're talking about right now we're talking about physical development which sleeping pattern is part of what you can is there's a separate video for that so you start seeing that they have 
changes to their sleeping pattern they've started looking staring at you very well and you know trying to look at you and then sometimes they can even remove their mouth of the breast and be looking at you and be like ah, ah, what is one looking at what are you trying to achieve kilo day can you let me know what's going on you know so those are the, the things that you will notice and then when they creep into the third month they kind of start looking around their environment they try to respond to music they respond to sound they respond to you know what's going on in their environment and usually between that two to to three months your baby communicates more during um, when they when they cry and when they're uncomfortable then you see that oh maybe if something had happened to them they are going to cry or be uncomfortable or be cranky and you know that oh there's something say they, they had their their diaper wet and all or they are hungry so at that time that's why when we talk about paying attention to the, your baby's hunger hand so you don't allow them creep the moment they start crying that means they have been enduring that hunger for a while and they've been waiting for you to pay attention to the hunger hands like scratching their hair or like you know <laughs> you know making those sounds those little sounds that you're not paying attention to so and also you not having a kind of a scheduled feeding time can make them start being cranky and cry and all of that so they start communicating through that pattern so one of the things that, uh, that, that happens during physical development is body movements the sounds that they make and that's those those sounds that they make is a form of communication to you they start responding to you when you even talk you know you'll be like hello hi ah uh, you know you're just making you know sometimes <laughs> i was watching a video somewhere where someone said because when you're a mother you become a you become a clown automatically so when you're a parent you become a, a clown automatically it doesn't only happen in toddler age even when your baby's an infant because you are communicating with them don't wait for your child to start speaking for you to communicate with them so you can have a conversation with them even at that young age and whatever it is that you say at that two three months they start responding they do they actually start responding by the things that they say they might not have wordings and i might not be able to find the you know the exact word that they will say but you, you know you you have your child is unique to you your child is unique to you so you just identify those sounds and communicate back you know one of the most important thing that you have to do and the role you have to play is to identify where they are and support them whether it's communication whether it's physically and all of that you must just find a way to come to support them now the other part where i want to talk about is their physical movement so when your baby now starts creeping between three four five months you see them becoming cranky you want to carry them and you know you they, they, it feels like they, they don't want to be babies anymore you know that feeling where you put your baby on your back and they just lie peacefully and you love it you know before you know it, when your baby turns some babies when, by the time they become three four four five months they don't want you to carry them as babies again you wonder ah, you know a baby do not be do not be moving their legs they are trying to move you know you keep them on one spot they, they are using their stomach to stand up you know before you know it, when you're dressing them, they are not allowing you to dress them. Have you ever tried to dress them at, at, at a four month old old before? They'll be fighting with you. You know, when you're dressing them, they'll not allow you. Before you know it, if you keep them on one spot, if you're not careful, you might come down and meet them on the floor because they are already trying to move. They're trying to, you know, make everywhere, you know, turn into, they're trying to explore the environment. Yeah, that's the word. So, you must be able to support them and one of the ways to support them we talk about baby proving your house and sadly we it might, it's, it's not that visible for some people but if you are able to baby prove your house it's a good thing baby proving meaning that you keep some environment for your baby to move around you keep you keep like a a, a kind of a child environment so if you want if your baby starts feeling cranky and if they are m making those movements you find an environment where you have you know take away taking away wires or electricity that they can access and harm themselves or take away harmful things and just keep that area for them a kind of a playful area for them to move around and keep their toys around there and even if they are in bed make sure you secure them with and um, put them in not like a box box kind of but just put some pillows to secure them that's what i used to do for my niece my nieces and my nephews back then just put like a pillow to secure them and put their toys and keep it for them to attract them to grab them and so because your child might want to start crawling your child might want to start you know doing certain things and you you hear people say oh is it not too young if your child is already showing those physical attributes of wanting to move around then they probably might want to start crawling they probably might want to start 
exploring the environment so your job is to act, to, act, to support them show them some items that they can use to move around show them some things that they need to attract them and also your child might start gripping things so hard when between that from three months four five six months they might start holding on to things their grip is so strong <laughs> I think I've seen, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys have seen a picture of a, a, a baby holding um, rice and steel in their hand and holding it so strong like this. And we were like, this hand is stronger than what I don't know. <laughs> you know, so they might start gripping around, they might start struggling with you to dress, to dress them. Some babies are actually not that bad. They are quiet, but this is most predominant in most babies. It's predominant in most babies. So you have to prepare for it and support them i'm sharing this because it might post as a stress for some mothers and your job as a mother is to find ways to support and try to understand because you're learning on the on the journey especially for for first-time mothers it's a learning curve for you be open to seeing and exploring the changes that is happening around your child especially the physical changes and physical changes is in form of communication and body movements be open if you see that so the thing is when you pay attention you see the changes and then you try something and it works and then tomorrow you try again it works and now that's a pattern for you you know you already know oh, this is what works for my child this is what works for my child and this what this doesn't work for my child because your child is unique to you your job is to just pay attention to it and understand how to be there for them to help them grow into that period my mother said i worked at seven months and i have I have some people in my community whose children started working at seven months and started crawling, crawling at three months, you know. So it's just dependent. I have people who their kids didn't start working till like one month, one year, six months, or let's say some even two years, you know. So it depends on the developmental stage of your child. But I think the key thing there is for you to identify when they begin to show those physical attributes and support them along the line. Start early. I always say this when it has to do with child care and child development early start is the biggest trick ever like if you start early and identify those changes early and support them to grow in it you can find that your child will begin to ex to experience those milestones effectively you know the grip the the drink the hold they they get to drink and you know kind of do the things that you would expect them to do at a certain milestone and also eventually when they grow into toddlers they start having um, well probably i'll find the time to share another video on that they will start doing they'll start ex exhibiting good motor skills and because you have already prepared them for it they kind of transition into it easily and so like i always say you are involved your child can't do it alone sorry mama sorry papa you have to be fully involved in this physical development i hope you found this video useful and i was just trying to freestyle i didn't want to make it so cumbersome just so that i can pick one or two things to for you to identify you might have seen it in your child just support them to go through that physical stage and that way you'll be able to not find yourself stressing or it might not it would not have a toll on your mental health as a mother or as a father or even as a parent if you found this video useful share it for another mama go and share it now and remember to click the link in our bio to check out our, our resources or if you're watching on youtube to click the link in my description to check out some of our resources on parenting child care and for you to have an improved parenting and motherhood experience i thank you for watching till the end until i come your way again take care